Morning. Today we have basic maintenance chores. We're gonna feed and water chickens, feed and water sheep, check on the lambs. Today we're going to try and finish building the lambing pens. We have two ewes that might drop lambs really soon. So we wanna be prepared for that. We're gonna step inside the greenhouse, check on the chickens, make sure that the ground that we busted up yesterday is spreading out nice. It's probably frozen solid because it's 14 degrees outside. So once we finish our coffee, we're gonna get right to it. Stick with us. So in the morning, the lambs are very vocal. They let you know when they're ready to eat breakfast. So what we pretty much do, we throw a bale of hay, we do square bales, throw a bale of hay in there, and then we take a couple flakes and bring it inside the shelter logic there for the mama who's taking care of her lambs. We keep the lambs and the mama you pinned up for a few days, make sure that they're feeding properly, they're growing right, and that mama is actually taking them. <laughs> Uh, last year we had an issue with her. She refused to take her lambs. So I think it was mama right here actually adopted her lambs and raised her own. So she's a good mama. We definitely want to keep her around. So hang tight. We'll, uh, we'll get this done and we'll move on to the chickens. So while I like working with sheep, the one problem with keeping a ram with you is a big daddy right there gets very protective of his girls and he will butt you out of the way if he feels like you're getting too close to his girls. I need to set up a pen, keep him locked up when I work with the girls because it can get kind of dangerous. He's knocked me down on my butt a few times and he's a big ram. And they're right, Big Daddy. He's a good guy, though. So. Oh, oh. There he comes. Uh, You'd be good. Jerk. Now we're heading in to see the mama that's already thrown her lambs. She's a good mom. She takes care of her lambs pretty well. Hey, come on, that's her breakfast. So now we gotta water them and clean out this logic. Open up the doors. It shouldn't be too windy today, so we can open open the doors and let some light in and let some fresh air get in there. We keep the doors closed when it's windy because we don't want to freeze out our lambs. So now we're inside with the chickens. As you can see, they scratched it down pretty good last time. So they flatten it out, they get it all gone. It's freezing out here. So I'm gonna hurry up and do this, go back inside and get another cup of coffee, and we'll check back in later. Sometimes the chickens get out and leave little Easter eggs for us. Literally. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, ladies. All right, now we're gonna check their water tanks and they are frozen solid. I've seen this on a uh, another YouTube channel, The Millennial Farmer. Let's see if it works. What he does is he'll snap his fingers and it's the problem's fixed. So let's give it a try. Is there some magic word that I'm supposed to use? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. 
Okay, so now that the animals have been fed and watered and everyone's been looked after, I can talk a little bit about our farm. So right now the house sits on two and a half acres and you might've noticed that the house is right next to the sheep pen and the chickens are in the front yard. So that is because we only have two and a half acres. And in the winter time, there is usually a lot of snow this time of year. Um, it's a lot easier to have the animals in our backyard, really close to the house where I can take care of them in the cold. And when there's a lot of snow, I can't get this truck out into the fields because this happens. Now, when that's under about a foot of snow and I'm stuck out in the mud like that, it's not fun. So we keep everything really close to the house. Um, I can water them so much easier and instead of carrying out the water tank and it freezing on the way out. And it's just so much easier to do chores this way. Once the springtime comes and the grass has started growing and it's to a level that is acceptable to graze animals on, I usually wait at least until it's four to six inches and the lambs are big enough that they can start grazing on their own. Then yes, we lease about 50 acres and they will go out and we rotate them across the different uh, pa uh, property that we lease. The sheep go first, followed by the chickens, and then it has time to recoup and regenerate until they come across again. Typically, we have enough grassland that we do not graze twice a year. We graze it once and it's not touched again until the next uh, spring. We'll cut hay on it, we will just mow it down at the end of the year. Depends on what we have going on. But typically the animals graze it once, then it goes to rest all year, and they graze it again in the spring. That's a little bit of what our plans are. I can get into the nitty gritty later on as the year goes by. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.